Grand Prix Insights is presented by Allianz. Every year, Formula One returns to the Côte d'Azur, paying a visit to the city of the rich and beautiful. The Monaco Grand Prix is very popular with the drivers, especially as many of them have roots here. Monaco is my home Grand Prix because it's where I've grown up, where I have all my friends, family, everything. So that's a lot of fun for me to race there, um, through my town, through my city, through all the streets that I know so well. The spectacle is on its way. The organizers use crash barriers and fences to ensure the safety of the drivers and fans and make space for 200,000 people, around 6.5 times the number that actually live in Monaco. The, the track starts to be built up, I think, about two months before the actual Grand Prix. So you start seeing bits and pieces, the curb arriving there and the, and the barrier. And, and it always brings up uh, memories and thoughts when you're driving through. Oh, soon I'm going to be here uh, with my F1 car racing through the streets. The circuit's very narrow in the Principality, as it is here in the Mirabeau and at the next hairpin. The drivers slow down to under 50 at this point as the risk of collision is just too great. After the next right-hander, it's off into Monaco's legendary tunnel. And it's such an amazing feeling to, to drive through this tunnel with 300 in a race car. So I was in there, I was like, wah, screaming my head off. <laughs> Pure adrenaline. This section is a unique experience, especially for the youngest drivers. But watch out, Chicane 11, right after the tunnel, demands full concentration to find the right place to break. Otherwise, you risk going straight into the crash barrier. For 78 laps, the cars tear around the city's otherwise relatively quiet streets, always at the absolute limit. Monaco is a very, very special racetrack. Um, it's probably the most challenging in the year. Um, because of the fact that it doesn't allow for any mistakes. The last four times here, the driver on pole has won the race by driving without a mistake. At the Monaco Grand Prix, therefore, it's all doubly up for grabs in qualifying and in the race itself. Grand Prix Insights was presented by Allianz.